Hey everybody, it's Brent again. So, you've seen uh, the Fontu platform, right? It was kind of a hodgepodge. It had um, it had um, herb tower in it. It had uh, the third onion tower in it. It had one uh, regular potato, vertically grown potatoes. It had sweet potatoes trying to grow in that. It had uh, things up top. Um, what was up top? I had a cabbage up there, a tomato. Anyway, that platform was kind of undefined. And as the water event happened, when I was on vacation, I came back and uh, a lot of that foliage and stuff had died off. Um, I, I determined that I needed to do a potato reveal. And that potato reveal was pretty successful, the first one and the second one. Um, and when I was doing that, I was going through that process, I, I found that some of the potatoes were successful, some of them weren't, and the platform was undefined. So I wanted to maximize the use of that Fawn 2 platform and make it more productive and also um, define it. And so now, what you're going to see in this video is a definition of the Fontu platform that I call the Potato Tower. So come along, let's see what it looks like. Let's talk vertical taters. Sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. And uh, let's take a look at that. And I've got plans for this, and I will take you along with me as I go. You can see the sweet potatoes, they sure love this heat. And they are vining like absolute crazy. And even the ones in the pots down here. And I want to multiply that because I'm quite certain that I have sweet potatoes in them pots. Now, on the potato tower, it's not doing quite as well. Um, possibly by the, part of it has to do with the way I planted them, probably, but most of it is due to a water event. Because you can see, once I started supplying a uh, correct amount of water back again, the plant started taking off again. I've got evidence of that all the way up and down the tower on both sides. It's that nice, lush growth. However, up top, uh, they're hanging on, got a little bit there, but we're going to take a couple of these, if not all of them. This one doesn't have any greenery in it, and this one over here doesn't have anything in it. And we're going to do a potato reveal, and we're going to completely redo this tower, and it's going to become a potato tower sweet potato and regular potatoes. Part of the reorganizing of the potato tower, there's going to be four sweet potatoes grown in the middle here in between the two two by fours. And there's going to be regular potatoes here, three on this side, and there's going to be three on the other side making this six regular potatoes and four sweet potatoes. Okay, you've seen the rooster potato reveal. Wasn't that great? And then you saw the reveal from the uh, couple buckets before those. And uh, the original ones that were sitting on top, ones where I put the potatoes in and filled it up with dirt as they grew, more or less, um, they did well. But sticking them on the edge here and having them go down into the pot didn't work so great. So. What we're going to do here is we're going to attempt to keep the best of both worlds. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it to about the halfway point between the bottom and this uh, the bottom of the outlet here. The next thing we're going to do is uh, put a potato in. And this 10-pound bag of potatoes are just normal red potatoes, and I got I got these from uh, Walmart. And uh, basically, I've gone with several different varieties. So we'll take one potato and we will put it here below this outlet, more or less. Kind of put it in place. 
and we'll take another seed potato and we will put it right actually we need to make sure that the majority of the eyes are up and they more or less are okay so that's good so we're going to put two seed potatoes in each one of these and next i'm going to fill the soil to about right here over the top of these now what i'm thinking is once these pop through the dirt I'm going to direct these out the holes and in fact there will be another bucket on top of it and the only light coming in will be through these two holes. I can just take and uh, remove the bucket above it and kind of poke them through there. So that's what we're going to do and uh, we'll see if that works. Okay here it is covered. The two seed potatoes are covered and I'm calling them seed potatoes. They're really just potatoes bought at the store. Now I didn't chit these potatoes and chitting is a form of starting growth outside of soil more or less. You get these little bitty um, little bitty growths, I don't know what else to call them, out of the eyes and a lot of people hold their potatoes out uh, until they do that and then when you stick them in the soil they grow a lot faster. Well. It takes a while, I've, from my experience, it takes a while from, for those chits to develop to begin with. So I'm thinking, you know, I, I've grown them both ways. Why don't I just let them sit in the soil? And when they develop the chits, the chits can go ahead and start growing immediately. In other words, there's no chitting around here for this one. <laughs> I'm not chitting around. <laughs> Three more. This is one of the rooster potatoes. I just did a potato reveal on a few days ago. And uh, look at it. That's basically chitting. <laughs> so I know they weren't in the pots that long. I wonder if the, the constant moisture had something to do with it. Anyway, I'm going to plant, replant the roosters that have chitted. So the potatoes are done, guys. Got uh, 12 buckets in this row three wide four high and over here I've got the same exact thing now majority in the bottom tiers are red potatoes that I showed you in that bag and a lot of the top ones if not all the top ones are the rooster potato and including I think three or four buckets I marked them on the other side but three or four that are my own potato that were pulled out less than a week ago. So I'm going to see how long as an experiment it would take to turn around those potatoes before they'll start actively growing into more potatoes again. I wanted to show you here that with these holes you can see in there through to the other side and see when potatoes are breaking through the surface and then once that happens you can unstack them and pull them out through the little holes. I can't remember if I showed this or not but I think it did after I took the vines off of that really big sweet potato uh, the slips off um, this is what's happening now there's they're greening up and they're starting to grow again which obviously means there's roots in there you even got some flowers so uh, those are usable assets. Those slips, I started taking them out of there and I've got three buckets here. You can see that I've got some roots on them. I'm going to wrap them around out through and finish filling them with dirt. Again, they're wrapped around. Time to fill with dirt. Once we put the vines in there, we need to start them off right. The soil is kind of pretty dry, so we need to go ahead and water this in some moisten it up make sure that those uh, vines get off to a good start that one bucket I had on top ended up pulling off and I wanted to use it to get more slips to complete the, the whole tower but I did want to show you something here it is growing me some nice sweet potatoes so I think this is going to be well these aren't nice they're not big but the resulting vines here when I hack them up and put them in the other bucket should result in some beautiful sweet potato growth. And that's my hope. 
So that is technically my first container grown sweet potatoes, my first hydroponic sweet potatoes, and their sacrifice is so that I can use all of these slips or vines, whatever you want to call them, that was on the top shelf in the new way that I'm going to grow them. And hopefully this fall I'll have some nice big beautiful sweet potatoes. Well, this is a top bucket. On the top bucket we put the little styrofoam foam board on and that serves a couple purposes. One, when water drips and hits it spreads out and it keeps from uh, creating a divot in the soil exposing potatoes. It also traps in moisture and it keeps it moist in there at all times which is what I want to do. Okay the potato tower sweet potato regular potatoes of two different kinds is complete and uh, that was some work I tell you. I'm hoping based on what I've seen with the different trials I've done this year and other things I've done in other years that this will be fruitful for me. Again we've got potatoes sweet potatoes and potatoes again on the other end and on top we're growing some beans and I think some trailing squash it's a little shorter tower I uh, should stay away from some of the extra heat up top I've got some shade cloth draped across also so uh, the wall also creates a barrier from the afternoon sun on the rest of the greenhouse which is what I want right now especially because it's so hot. Guys this is Brent in Central Arkansas a long hard day's work we will see you later.